still breaking tonight. A red line train derailed near the Bryn Mawr station. Emergency crews standing by on the street as CTA crews assess the situation. Thankfully, there were no injuries. WGN's Brona Tumulty is joining us tonight. Brona, what is the latest there? Good evening, guys. Yeah, I just spoke with CTA inside of the last 15 minutes, and they tell us the normal red line service is now back up and running. It's not clear yet what caused that derailment earlier this evening, but it does appear right now to possibly be some sort of problem with the track itself. However, there were 24 people on the train when it derailed. All of them are doing just fine tonight, so things certainly could have been a lot worse. I just uh, live down the block. Carlos Corvella used to ride the red line pretty often. Now that I'm working from home, I don't use it that often, but like my cousins that are here visiting, we're going to take the train and go downtown. But as he walked by the Bryn Mawr station tonight, he was wondering what was going on. First, I thought it was a jumper, but then, you know, it's too many police cars, and some, uh, probably something collapsed. But now you just told me that it was a derailment, but luckily it wasn't that bad, so yeah. no major injuries. A couple dozen people were on a southbound train this evening when one set of wheels on one rail car came off the track. Nobody was hurt and the rail car isn't damaged. Bryn Mawr is also where the mayor was less than a week ago for a groundbreaking ceremony. If you know this station, you'll also know it's pretty old, about a century old in fact, and it's one of several stations slated for a rebuild by 2024 as part of the Red Purple Line modernization program. It's old and it's being repaired, but all the train stations along the line, they've been repairing them for the past three, four years. Belmont and Fullerton have been repaired and it's time for a Bryn Mawr. Now, we did ask earlier if construction could have been part of the problem uh, with tonight's derailment, and CTA says there's no actual construction going on in the immediate area where the real car came off the track. Live tonight in Edgewater, Brona Tumulty, WGN News. Thank you, Brona. An 11-year-old shot.